Good morning, guys. It's very busy today. Long time no talk. You guys, look, first of all, look at my face. Like, what the hell? I haven't had acne like this in a long ass time, years. And it's kind of stressing me out. Even more than I already am. I don't know if it's stress acne or like whatever. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm doing anything differently. But it really sucks. And yeah, so that's my situation. We're just breaking out really bad. Okay, let me put you guys somewhere so I can like vlog and not be out of breath. What is up you guys? So I haven't vlogged in quite a while. I went to, if you guys follow me on Geor <laughs> Georgia, if you guys follow me on Georgia, yeah. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I went to Georgia. I went to Gainesville, Georgia for a wedding. I didn't really want to vlog any of that because I didn't really know anyone and I just didn't want to be that weird girl vlogging, you know? You know what I mean. So I didn't vlog Georgia, I was there for about five days. And then I just got back and I was just like, my mom came to visit me, it was her birthday and um, she was helping me just throw away a bunch of stuff in my house that I don't need in the new house or want to take with me in the moving process. So she helped me get rid of a lot of stuff, so that was really helpful and good. So update on that, on my situation with moving. And the reason I'm out of breath, it's like 7.30 in the morning right now, or 7.45. So I have movers coming right now, they're coming not to move everything out, they're just going to pack up my house, so that's really, really cool. Like I don't even have to pack anything myself, the moving company has this thing where they just pack everything, they bring all the boxes, they pack everything up, and um, it's like super easy. You just gotta pay extra for it, so I was like, it's worth it. I am one person, I can't do this all myself. So they are coming today to pack up everything, and then tomorrow they are moving everything in the trucks to storage, so <laughs> that is the update with that. I'm having my whole life put into storage for God knows how long, really. Uh, no, I, it won't be long. So, um, update on like the house hunting situation. So I was pretty set on the one house that I briefly showed you guys in a vlog, I think. It was one of the ones I briefly showed you guys. And I was pretty, pretty set on it. And then another one popped up for sale a few weeks ago. And it looked really cute online. And I was like really excited about it. So I went that day. It like was on the market for one day. So I went that day. And I looked at it, I went to the open house, and I like fell in love with this house. It was so freaking cute, you guys. Like, just my vibe completely. Like, it was just so unique, and that's what I really wanted to look for in a house was like, because this one's super cookie cutter and kind of plain, and I just wanted a house that was unique, had some style to it, like, I don't know, was quirky, had some, like, I, that's why I kind of liked the older houses, because that were like, renovated because they had charm to them. Like this one had like an upstairs going to just the master bedroom. So like the master bedroom was its like own little hideaway thing and it was just so cute. I don't know. <sighs> just like the little details of it was so cute. So I put in an offer and I offered above the asking price because they were saying like they were getting offers and stuff and there were so many people there and I knew this house was gonna sell like so fast. And it was like below what my budget was. Like it was, a good price, good area, and so I offered above the asking price, and then I like find out I don't get the house, and I'm like, what? Like, how does that make sense? Like, how can someone else? I was like the highest offer. Anyway, it was all political. They gave it to some doctor because they're trying to like adopt a kid. I'm like, I can't give you a kid. This family's trying to adopt a child from this hospital or something it was like something crazy like there was no way I was getting that house and I literally cried but it's fine so now I'm back to the other house it's still on the market the one I was originally gonna make an offer on so a few days ago I did put an offer on that one and right now we're just in the going back and forth <clears throat> like negotiating prices process so that is that. I most likely will end up getting this house that you guys saw a little bit of. Um, and I always liked this house, but I was a little bummed that I didn't get the really, really cute one that I was super, like, crazy about. But that's just, like, the house hunting process. And, like, my parents are like, well, you know, another one will pop up. But, like, that one was just so unique, and I just don't think 
another one like that would pop up at all in that price range. So I do really like the one that I'm putting offers in right now. I always did, so I'm still excited. It's still unique and cute and has like those corks, so I am excited. Hopefully the process will be smooth and I'll get it and everything will work out and I won't have to have my stuff in storage for longer than like a month because I just feel like it'll probably take that long still once we decide on a price, you know? Anyway, I'm a mess right now. Like, what is happening with my skin? I just don't know. But I needed to update you guys before the movers came because I do want to vlog today. The whole packing the house process. I'm just gonna like watch them. Hopefully I don't get weirded out that I'm filming them packing my house. Also, I didn't even say where I'm going to live. Me and Louie are going to live while my stuff's in storage. So basically, um, me and Louie are going to go live with Brooke in her apartment. That's down in Newport, so we're just going to stay there while we figure everything out. Um, so yeah, Brooke's my friend, if you guys don't know. I hate like, uncertainty. I know you just got to trust the process, but I just uncertainty is really hard sometimes, you know? Anyway, I want to show you guys what my situation is for like stuff that I'm bringing to Brooks because obviously I can't bring like a lot of stuff. So I went to Target the other day and I got a bunch of bins. I got a bunch of bins to put my clothes in and I'm bringing a clothing rack. And that's pretty much it. And like a suitcase. I'll probably bring a suitcase. We got a big bin for shoes. So these are all the shoes. I'm not taking any of those. I feel like this is enough for like three weeks, four weeks-ish time. Hopefully it's not that long. <laughs> okay, and then I bought little bins. My mom was like, these are too small, but I'm like, this is literally all I need for like a few weeks because honestly, I wear the same thing every day of my life, the same pair of pants, Lululemons, like I brought some workout stuff. These are shirts, pants, bottoms, skirts, underwear, one bathing suit in case socks in that one got pajamas like sweatpants these are just like hoodies and sweaters bringing these two towels so yeah they're gonna pack up everything for me this is a bag that i'm bringing to brooks also full of like accessories I'm gonna bring this suitcase i'm gonna bring all of this so this is the corner of all the stuff that the movers aren't gonna pack or move um i put a sign yes yeah we're very minimal this is what i'm bringing to brooks and plus, like, I'm going to bring Louie's cat litter. But these are all the clothes, the bins. I'm bringing this plant because I don't want it to die. And, you know, it's cute. She'll love. I'm bringing a ring light, you know, because TikTok. Um, and just random stuff, so. Now I'm just doing random things until the movers get here. What's up guys? So, update. I'm sitting in the office right now. They packed this room up already and so me and Lou are chilling because Lou was hiding under the bed and they have to clean, or they have to pack up my, my the rooms upstairs. They've done all downstairs already now so 
Um, they had to do upstairs and Lou was under the bed, so I had to put him in this room because they're done this room. Um, so he's just chilling with me. He's scared. He's sad. He's concerned. <laughs> But I'm just sitting here in the office chilling with Lou on the computer importing footage Yeah, I'm not really supposed to leave while they're here. So I just have been postmating. It's actually taken a long time They got here at like 8 30 a.m. And it's 2 30 p.m. Right now. Um, so yeah, it looks really cute I think the pantry tour is gonna be super cute. I like how I look in it. I don't know That's not really that important, but like I like my outfit. It's not fun editing when you like look at something about yourself and like something's off she cute she cute so they just left and lou's checking things out guys it's so empty in here it's crazy are you scared they got everything packed up so good all the boxes all the chairs are wrapped so nicely they wrap everything so it doesn't like get damaged everything's wrapped up i'm shook they literally covered it in Cardboard? Crazy. Update you guys. It is empty in here and really echoey. Woo! Lou! So the movers just left. They took all of my life to storage, but hopefully it won't be for too long. Hopefully I can get into the next house really quick. I'm just chilling in here, um, packing up my car right now with all the stuff I'm taking to Brooke's house. It is so empty and weird in here. It's just like crazy. It reminds me of the day that I moved into this house and that's the last time I've seen it this empty. So it just like takes me back to that time and it's kind of nostalgic. It's just weird. I don't know. So I have a few errands to run. Like I gotta take these cable boxes over here. I gotta take those to the Spectrum store, I guess, to return them. I do. The hanging chair is gone. Just got a little light fixture. Crazy. I think the saddest part about this whole thing is the closet. I only had a few months to enjoy this, but you know, it's fine. That is what's up. So I'm gonna go run the errands and I will update you guys when something is happening. Okay, Lou, are you gonna be okay for a few minutes? Maybe like an hour? Did I just cry in my car on the way to drop off my cable boxes because I'm sad because this is kind of hitting me all of a sudden? Yep. <laughs> Salted cream cold brew? Um, Anything else? That's it. 790, come on up. Thank you. Ugh, I missed my drive-through vlogs. I feel like it's a good time to just chat to you guys is when I'm in the drive-through. I just dropped off the cable boxes. That went really quick. But yeah, I definitely was like tearing up just driving here, just driving to like Starbucks and the cable place. Like, I don't know why I was just like, I probably won't be driving around here anymore. And it's just crazy. Like that whole part of my life is just like, over now and it got me emotional like I don't know you live in a certain area and then like it's, I, I think it's like bigger of a deal because I'm moving like towns I just know that I won't really be around here that much I won't have my daily routine here and like all the memories like I don't know just all the memories of he being around here yeah it's just like I'm closing a chapter of my life and it's just like crazy <laughs> Why am I crying? Literally crying in the Starbucks drive-thru right now. I literally wasn't even emotional about leaving this house at all. Like when they were packing up everything yesterday, like my stepdad called me last night 
and was like, are you sad? Like, are, are you okay? Like, I was like, yeah, like what? Like, I'm fine. Like, what the, what the heck? Like, what, why should I be like sad? And I was like shocked that he was even asking me that. And then like today, Brooke was like, it's kind of sad. And I was like, eh. But I don't know, just like driving around and like just now that everyone's gone and everything is out of my house, it's kind of hitting me and it is kind of sad. <laughs> it is just a house and like I'm excited. I'm not like sad to be really leaving it. It's just sad because it's like a part of my life that's over now. There's a lot in that house. Oh, okay, I need to stop. And I, I really need to stop, but yeah, I don't know. On to the next, I guess. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Time to say goodbye to this house. You'll never be back here. Yeah, this is the last time. I know. Crazy. <laughs> Should we say goodbye, Lou? Okay. Come here, Boo Boo. Come here. Come here. He's the best kid. You come when I tell you to leave like a puppy. Oh, he's purring. Target now. I dropped off Louie. It's a lot later. I unpacked the car and everything and we brought everything up to her apartment. But this is my first time going to the Target that I will be going to all the time. This is my new Target now. I'm excited. It looks very big. We love. They never have the tuna ones. This is like the type of treat he likes, but they never have tuna and he does not like chicken. Do I get him this? This is a full-on piece of salmon. Like, I could eat this. Success. So, I'm home now, and Brooke's at her boyfriend, so I have the whole place to myself. I'll probably show you guys more of, like, an apartment tour in the next vlog. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Me and Lou. I think I'm just gonna chill and watch some Netflix. I've been watching Lucifer on Netflix. Tomorrow is Adeline's birthday and we're going pole dancing. So I'll definitely be sure to vlog tomorrow. I will see you guys tomorrow and I love you guys so much.